Every year, scientists discover thousands of new species, showing us that we still have a lot to learn about the natural world. It's incredible to think that in this day and age, we're still finding undiscovered species not known to science. The jungles and oceans are some of the least explored places on the planet, and not only have they helped us to better understand some of the life forms that call this place home, but they've opened our minds to these ecosystems which were previously not understood. One location that's of particular interest is that of the icy continent. For years, scientists and researchers labelled this location as a barren wasteland, being home to only a few species. However, recent drilling operations have shown us that this isn't the case, and that Antarctica has been hiding entire ecosystems beneath its icy surface. One interesting investigation and mission was made by the Ice Cube Collaboration. The Ice Cube Collaboration said the following on their website about the mission. Ice Cube, the South Pole Neutrino Observatory, is a cubic kilometre particle detector made of Antarctic ice, and located near the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station. It's buried beneath the surface, extending to a depth of around 2,500 metres. A surface array, ice top and denser inner subdetector, deep core significantly enhances the capabilities of the observatory, making it a multi-purpose facility. The UNICE component of IceCube consists of 5,160 digital optical modules, or DOMs, each with a 10-inch photomultiplier tube, and associated electronics. The DOMs are attached to vertical strings, frozen into 86 boreholes, and arrayed over a cubic kilometre from 1,450 metres to 2,450 metres in depth. The strings are deployed on a hexagonal grid, with 125 meter spacing, and hold 60 DOMs each. The vertical separation of the DOMs is 17 meters. End quote. It was during this mission, though, that the team captured something mysterious. The cameras detected what appeared to be a mysterious creature, with those who've seen it describing it as a shape shifting squid, or possibly an octopus. The Ice Cube Observatory said the following. This camera system was deployed January 24th to 25th, 1998, at the bottom of String 13 in Amanda. The camera consisted of one down-looking camera, and one looking into the wall of the hole. Five meters below the camera system, a glass sphere with a light source pointing into the wall was located. Depths given in the movie are interpolated, and may have uncertainties up to 100 meters below 1,300 meters. The final position depth is exact. End quote. Most who have seen the photographs, though, have focused on the mysterious creature that was detected by the cameras, saying that the creature kept changing its shape as the camera approached it, causing some to say that it may have been mimicking the device, something that has been observed by researchers in the natural world. Although some said that it reminded them of a squid, others said that it doesn't match the description of a typical squid species, leading some to say that it may be an entirely new species not known to science. Others who saw the photograph said that there's nothing in the natural world that matches the descriptions of this creature, and that it's likely something entirely new. This wouldn't be surprising as Antarctica is full of ancient lakes beneath these icy sheets, all of which could hold complex life forms. Interestingly, various countries have carried out experiments in Antarctica, many of which have remained somewhat of a mystery. One of the most well-known stories that details an alleged encounter with a mysterious creature is that of Organism 46b, and those who saw these photographs suggested that this could have been one of those creatures, saying that it matches the description of what some of the scientists said. A supposed leaked document surrounding the first attempts made by Russian researchers back on the 5th of February in 2012, while drilling to the lake's surface, made reference to the creature known as Organism 46b. The report itself was titled Organism 46b, and detailed an increasingly bizarre story, 
in which Russian researchers claim to have encountered a massive colossal squid residing in the lake that could release toxins into the water, could squeeze itself down into small sizes, take on weird shapes, change its physical colours, and could cause a mild form of hypnotism if a person began to stare at the creature for too long. Here are some quotes from the supposed letter written by a man named Dr. Anton Padalka. We encountered organism 46B on our first day. It disabled our radio, which we later learned to our alarm was intentional. It's also able to paralyze prey from a distance of up to 150 feet by releasing its venom into the water. Tragically, my colleague and lifelong friend was taken out this way. He tread water wearing a blissful smile as the organism approached him. We watched helplessly as it used its thumbs to tear off his head, then popped his remains in his mouth. It was as if it had hypnotized him telepathically. It shaped itself into the form of a human diver. We thought it was one of our colleagues swimming towards us in scuba gear. By the time the closest scientist had realized what it was, it had grabbed him and torn him to bits. End quote. We know that scientists were drilling in this area because Russian scientist Valery Larkin and Sergei Balats published a paper titled Vostok Subglacial Lake. Shortly after the end of the expedition, half of Valery Larkin's research team would end their careers in the Antarctic expeditions and leave the research team without further information surrounding the members. The encounter with organism 46B led to the reported deaths of several top Russian researchers, and so many believe that this is why the document could have been leaked, as a warning to other researchers in the area. Despite the far-fetched abilities of organism 46B, reports appear to match a number of known cases of squid and octopus entities in the real world. In fact, every single ability mentioned by the letters that organism 46B might possess appears to match many of the abilities found in deep sea species of cephalopods and environments that would be similar in light pressure and water quality to organism 46B's. Given its danger and efforts needed to be contained by the Russian Federation as claimed by these documents, this could very well mean that organism 46b is one of the most dangerous creatures naturally living on planet Earth. Its ability to be weaponized for future efforts also seems to be a very real possibility, given the claims of the leaked documents and other rumors that have surfaced surrounding the creature. Since this discovery, the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory has been decommissioned and there's only a very limited amount of information that can be found out about these photographs. So what do you make of these interesting photographs? And do you think this creature could be the same as Organism 46B? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.